Unmasking the Silent Language, Understanding Nonverbal Cues in English. Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to delve into the world of nonverbal communication, specifically focusing on nonverbal cues. These are incredibly important for active listening as they can provide valuable information beyond the words that are spoken. So, let's unlock the silent language together. Nonverbal cues refer to all the information that is communicated without using any words. They can include things like facial expressions, gestures, posture, and even tone of voice. When you're actively listening, it's important not just to hear the words that someone says, but also to observe and interpret these nonverbal cues. They can add depth to your understanding and can often reveal feelings and attitudes that words might not express. When we communicate, it's estimated that up to 93% of our communication is nonverbal. That's massive. This means that nonverbal cues often convey more information than the actual words spoken. In conversations, these cues can indicate interest, disagreement, confusion, and many other emotions. Understanding them makes your listening more active and your responses more empathetic and accurate. There are various types of nonverbal cues that you can pay attention to. 1. Facial expressions. These can reveal a lot about a person's emotional state. 2. Body language and posture. This can suggest if a person is relaxed, nervous, open or defensive. 3. Gestures. These are movements that communicate specific messages. 4. Eye contact. This can show attentiveness and interest. 5. Tone of voice. Even without words, the way something is said can convey different meanings. By becoming aware of these cues, you can enrich your understanding of what is being communicated beyond the words alone. Reading nonverbal cues is a skill that can be developed with time and practice. Here are a few tips to get you started. 1. Observe the whole picture. Don't focus on a single cue. Instead, observe all the cues to get a comprehensive understanding. 2. Context is key. The same cue can mean different things in different situations. Always interpret nonverbal cues in context. 3. Practice. The more you practice observing nonverbal cues, the better you'll get at it. Understanding nonverbal cues is a crucial part of active listening. It helps us to respond appropriately and build stronger, more meaningful connections. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, the more you practice reading and interpreting these cues, the better your listening comprehension will be. We hope this video has been informative and enjoyable. Keep practicing and we'll see you in the next video.